Hey there guys, what's up? It's JP here and I'm back in the next part of my uh this first of the old old, old cards uh card review. So here we go, we at trees now. First up we have the hooded egg light, 4 mana 3 6, really really powerful stat line. Whenever a character is healed, give your thing plus one plus one, wherever it is. But it's a really interesting card because 4 6 is insane. Right, this is probably as good as 2 nearly, if not better, in the pre stack. No, in fact, it is better than uh, 2 nearly in the pre stack. Just because uh, it passes the 5 attack, uh, 5 health range that uh, I was mentioning earlier. So it's actually a really solid card here. No AoE outside. It doesn't get killed by any specific AoE, maybe except for Doomsayer, but it's not exactly an AoE. Uh, it doesn't get killed by Light Bomb. Um, Sure, you can target your shadow with pain, but that's about it. Um, fireball, flame lance, that's about it. So it's a really powerful body. It's gonna trade very, really, really favorably against uh, lower health minions. And you're probably always gonna be buffing Cthulhu because you're always gonna be healing this guy up. So I think this card is really insane, and you'll definitely see playing the uh, Cthulhu style priest uh, if that becomes a thing. You won't see this in the arena because well, it's one of those cards, right? Next up, we have Power Word Tentacles. Mm. <laughs> Man, this art is distracting. Uh, 5 mana, give a minion plus 2 plus 6. This card is complete garbage and constructed. You would never play this because, I mean, the standard bearer for this kind of buffs would be a priest card. Um, Valence Chosen, this is 3 mana. Plus 2 plus 4. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Where did it go? I don't have balance chosen, how is that possible? Okay, there it is. Uh, and plus one spell damage here. Um, this card is clearly inferior to that, so in Constructed, I don't think you see this being played, but in Arena, I think this card is really, 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 really broken. Um, just because the plus two generally is already a very good buff, uh, it's gonna let. This two attack will help any creature trade up fairly easily, and the plus six health is insane. Because with priests, they're one of those classes where they can really leverage off a lot of health, where they can keep healing up a big creature, and then that creature can just keep trading infinitely. Um, I mean, not infinitely, at some point it's going to die, but you, it's, you're always going to get a favorable trade. And this card yeah, extends that even more. So this card's probably really good in Arena. I wouldn't say it's a top pick, but it's a pretty decent pick. Like, um, it's probably better than most 5 drops or regular 5 drop as a pick, especially if you have a deck able to uh, control the port fairly easily. Moving on, we have the Dark Shy Alchemist, 5 mana for 5. Battle Cry restore 5 health. Now, one thing to note uh, that personally, I think this card is actually really, really good, and I'll tell you why. Just because of this card, right? Comparatively, Dark Scale Healer. It's basically the same thing, except this heals all by two, including yourself, and this heals one by five, uh, including yourself. So that skill uh, healer is actually good enough to see play in arena. So this card could definitely see play in arena because I think it's just a really powerful body. You can always heal up a big dude. You can always heal yourself if you need to. Uh, really solid healing ability as well, which is uh, you guys may not believe this, but it's actually pretty hard to do in uh, Priest outside of your hero power because what actually heals that you can play competitively Circle of Healing, that's one Flash Heal only if you're playing uh, Alcanine but even then these two cards combo with Alcanine so you generally don't want to use them for healing Light of the Naru, again probably use it as burn more than healing and these are all spells by the way we haven't even hit the only minion I believe is Lightwell. Is that competitive? No. Um, is there anything else that heals? Not that I can see. So absolutely nothing that heals, <laughs> right? This except for those three spells and those three spells you use. Most likely you're gonna want to use it with uh, most. The most efficient way to use it is with app. Alcanine soul, soul Priest, so uh, that's actually a surprising amount of, uh, or rather a surprising lack of healing. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these cards will be rotating out as well. Let's take a quick look here. This one's out, 
So continue this out. This one is still in for now. So basically, your tree has been cut under two, and these two are definitely the people use this more for burn than for heal. So there you go. So this card obviously can be used for burn, but this card is more of a heal card in my opinion. And uh, five mana four five is not terrible as I showed you before. So I think this card is really powerful. You probably see it both in arena and constructed. Um, constructed, maybe not so much because one thing I have to realize is that there is no single card here that couldn't be played, uh, or rather in Priest, that isn't fighting for a spot and constructed. So, there you go. Uh, next we have Shadow Word Horror. This for all minions with 2 or less attack. This card is really peculiar to me because it has that uh, polarizing effect. Whereby, if aggro deck is very prominent, everybody's going to play Priest and run this card, and then Nobody will play aggro decks and these cards become redundant and nobody play these cards and then it's that endless cycle. So I'm guessing at the most this is going to be a tech card in priest decks. Um, is it very good? I don't think so. Uh, like the picture suggests it's probably used to as a anti Moloch kind of mechanic as opposed to anything else. Because I really feel you can keep quite a lot of Molochs if not almost all of them. Uh, if they're not buffed. Uh, I don't think aggro will be a big thing, so I don't think this card is going to be very good. In arena, it's horrible, and uh, constructed, it's terrible. Next, we have the shifting shape form and a four three better. Uh, definitely copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Um, I think this is just a really bad card. Uh, Priest already has a card like that, and it's called Thought Steel, <laughs> right? I said Thought Steel is probably better than this because it draws you two cards. Uh, the only argument that you might have is that it's 4-3 and no just because it's 4-3 doesn't mean it's as good as Pirate of Treader so no, this card I think is pretty bad it does have a very similar effect though make no mistake um, because you could get a 4-3 and then in a sense it gives you a card like a Pirate of Treader gives you a card but the only difference is Pirate of Treader plays the card immediately this one does not having said that though you can get a much bigger card from this than you could with Shredder so yeah Next you have the Twilight Dark Mana, 5 mana 6-5, again one of these odd 6-5 cards that are popping up. Um, Battle Cry has at least 10 attack, restore your health, your health, restore 10 health to your hero, wow, that's that's a really really big heal. Um, oops, my bad. Um, so the big comparison is that because it's a 5 drop, it's going to be compared with anti kill bot. Is this better than anti kill bot? In the Cthulhu deck, yes it is, a million percent, right? It's the same mana, it's a bigger body, and it heals for more. Odds are you're going to have 10 attack when you play this guy anyways, on the Cthulhu, so this card is just a vastly superior uh, uh, heal bot, in my opinion, and I think this will definitely see play in Cthulhu decks. In all, obviously you won't see it in the arena, right? Uh, next we have the Forbidden Shaping, this is Slightly better than Forbidden Flame in my opinion, but still not at 8. Uh, and what it does is basically spend all your mana and summon a random minion that costs that much. So some people have made the argument whereby, oh, at a certain mana cost, you know, this thing is insane, right? Like maybe at 6 drops, it's insane, or 7 drops, 8 drops, or 9 drops kind of thing, right? Only in 10 does it give you like a guaranteed very big minion. Uh, even in uh, 9, right, you could get something really terrible, like, well, I wouldn't say it's horrendous, but technically you could get uh, scenarios, which is 8-5 body, and it's 8-5 really worth the thing with uh, worth the mana? No, because you don't get the abilities. The only reason scenarios was powerful is because it has the abilities. So, I mean, you could um, get a King Crush. Is that great? No, not really. So, I, I, I guess you guys can see where I'm going with this here. Like, there, there's definitely a slot where like 7 seems to be really, really powerful. But, and 7 and 10 seems really powerful. But, are you willing to spend that much mana uh, to invest that much mana for that card in particular? Uh, or for a random chance to get that card? I think the answer is just no. So I think this card is really bad and you won't see it anyway. Next we have the Embrace the Shadow. This turn your healing effects deal 
uh, damage, isn't it? So this is like the Alconite Soul Priest ability, which I showed you earlier. Um, priest. And then we go to Alconite Soul Priest. So yeah, it's kind of like this effect, but this is a permanent effect and the body, and this is not. So most people would just think, oh, this is a shitty version of that. And the answer to that is no. Uh, it's not necessarily a shitty card because it costs two mana. So if you want to do that weird combo in wild with like the zombie chows and uh, the healing touch and the circle of healing one turn burst your opponent down, this card is actually better because you spend less mana to trigger the damage effect. So pretty interesting card. Uh, if you probably see some form of play in. A combo style priest if that happens. Um, I don't think combo priest would be a thing, but if it does happen, that's where you see it play. You know, you know this card is just horrible. <clears throat> and lastly we have the priest legendary herald what is that? Vol Volage? Volage? Basically, okay, forget it. Okay, it's 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 Herald, okay. We're calling him Herald. Herald six mana five five. So Savannah's Emperor stats, like I mentioned before, uh, summon a 1-1 one, one copy of each of your other minions. Now this card is really interesting, right? Because uh, it's in the right class, whereby Priest is one of those classes where they don't tend to run that many minions, and the minions they do run, you do want to have them stick um, generally. Uh, the only problem is that they tend to be really high health, so making them 1-1s one, is kind of shitty. Having said that though, if you use that same logic, and remove the big minions and put in like late game. So things like um, obviously the big cards that synergize well with this is things like you know Chromagus, Sneasel Shredder, Celtazard, Ragnaros, Sylvanas, uh, even Makatob is pretty good. Uh, Malagos is insane. Visera is insane. So yeah, those are basically the cards that you want here, and um, like the ability for this card to be insane is is it's very obvious. The only problem is, can you always reliably pull off this combo? My answer to that is probably not, and therefore I actually think this card is actually really bad and constructed. Uh, and in arena, I think this card is fair. I think it's one of the better legendaries because you're always gonna uh, you're always gonna play this with other minions, so you always at the very least gonna get one once. And generally, what you want in arena is just a lot of stats, and this can give you a lot of stats. Uh, in case you're wondering, I believe the maximum number is three minions on the board, so you get another three, so that's six, and then this guy is seven. So yeah, that's the biggest one. Uh, personally, I think this legendary is really interesting. You will definitely see me play with this, and I imagine you'll see. Uh, quite a lot of highlights about this, but I don't think it's going to be very competitive. But uh, again, we have to see how that goes because there was a time in Hearthstone where everybody's just slapping the big guys left, right, center, and uh, if the meta actually slows down to that pace again, this card is going to be insane. So yeah, that'll be all for me for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be back real soon in the next part. It's JP signing up.